Yo, yo, yo. Okay, we really have you feeling. What's up, y'all? Hey, make sure y'all are tuning into all the socials in the description and pinned in the comments, man. Make sure y'all are tuning in, tapping in. I love y'all. Thank y'all so much for the love. Now, let's get into it, bro. If you are on the road to successes, you are on the road to wealth, to riches, to being your best self, self-mastery, elevation, you must do multiple dopamine detoxes. Where do dopamine detoxes come from? Come from your phone, your iPad, your computer, your tablet, your friends, your family, giving you compliments, giving you... It's like, here's, here's how you can put it into your brain. Dop dopamine from family and friends is like wordly adrenaline rushes. Does that make sense? So, you know how any man might get, might get an adrenaline rush from, you know, being nervous before a basketball game or, you know, maybe a fight about to break out and your adrenaline starts to kick in. Like, oh, you know, you might black out, right? That's what they say. That's what dopamine is with words and compliments and actions, right? But besides that, I'm talking about, I'm talking about with your phone, with social media, with your laptop and technology, right? I'm going to explain to you guys what it looks like and what it means and how to go about doing a dopamine detox in this video, okay? So first, dopamine detoxing is so important because it's killing our brain cells. Sitting on our phone, sitting on our computer, just scrolling. Just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Next thing you know, two hours went past. You got nothing done. You got a headache. The technology, the vibration and the frequency of your phone connected to the Wi-Fi is giving you a headache. It's killing your brain cells, making your stomach hurt, making you feel sick. This is not by mistake. <laughs> this is not by accident, right? Whenever you scroll on your phone and you check out everybody else's life, whenever you scroll on Twitch, whenever you scroll on YouTube to see who got the, you know, the craziest thumbnail, the best video, the... Whenever you scroll and you do these things, what you are telling your brain is their life and their existence is more important than mine. This is why people wake up and the first thing they do is grab their phone. See who texted me. <gasps> See who texted me. And that's going on to another topic that I want to talk about is FOMO, which is fear of missing out. And first thing people do is grab their phone. Why? Because they feel like, oh, that draw, I need a dopamine. I need, I need that rush. Who texted me? Who called me? Nobody not really thinking about you. Like, <laughs> nobody, because you are so focused on them. They're, it's like with women, bro. They, when, whenever you focus so much on them, they get turned off. You see what I'm saying? They don't want to be bothered with you no more. Right? So it's the same thing with, with dopamine detoxing. It's so important that you must do this weekly. Like sometimes, bro, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, no social media, none. Delete YouTube, delete Twitter, TikTok, everything, everything. Delete it. Come back on Monday. Be productive. Use. These platforms are to use, not to be used. Don't let it go over your head, all right? These products, these, these, these platforms and these products are to use, to put to use, not to be used. You know what I'm saying? So, dopamine detox. Let's first talk about this, right? Whenever you scroll, whenever you see who calls, whenever you see who texts you, this, this is what you're doing. You are putting yourself at a disadvantage and making your importance less, Right? And that is what you're telling all the, the atoms and the, and the molecules in your body is, oh, I'll put my life on the back burner, but let me see who, what new video, who came out with this song, what new album this got going on, these celebrities. That... That's what you're doing. So when you do a dopamine detox, guess what happens, y'all? And let me tell you this shit, too. I have 
done a dopamine detox to where I been off social media for almost a year. It was 11 months straight. No YouTube, no nothing. And guess what I've done? I have realized in, in that time, I have realized the importance of my time, my energy, my space, and fasting. Okay? Fasting my voice, doing speech fasts, <laughs> speech fasts, speech fasting, okay? Fasting eating wise, meditating, reading, building myself instead of depleting myself. But if I'm so focused on what they got going on, on YouTube and Instagram, then I'm not even paying attention to how I feel. When somebody asks you how you feel, like, actually, it's like somebody speaking to you in a different language, huh? Because you don't know. You don't even, you don't even have a high idea. And this is 95% of the world. They have no idea on how they're feeling, how to manage their emotions, and what to feel. They're giving their thoughts. So with dopamine detoxing, it strengthens you. It motivates you. It inspires you to get off your ass, stop being so lazy, and make something work. Because remind you, okay? Let me remind you. Anything that is not working is broke. What you cannot use is broke. It's broke. So the next time you sit there scrolling and looking at everybody else's life, and here's the saying that I always love. While I'm at home thinking about them and what they're doing, if they think about me, they're out partying. They're out having a good time. This is 99% of social media's perception because I want to emulate what he's doing. I want to emulate what they're doing. They want to emulate what I'm doing. Followers. You could be a leader, but still get inspired by other people. You realize that, right? You realize that, right? Y'all, dopamine detoxing is so important. Stay focused to your purpose. Stay focused on your mission. That is number one. And you will realize people are gravitated towards you. They want to they talk to you. They want to speak to you. You don't have to tweet for them to know that you're there, that your presence is felt. And guys, it takes time. You do, listen, because if you do it for a week, of course you might feel good in the beginning. But that's the thing called beginner's luck. You might feel good in the beginning, but bro, you got to do this for months and months and months on end. Journal, write how you feel, meditate, just sit down and just don't talk for the whole day. Have you ever done that? Just don't talk for the whole day. That's another great video topic. Just don't talk for the whole entire day. Your throat chakra increases. What you say is felt. It's felt more. Like for like in the soul, like to the soul, to the core, it's felt more. So when you do open your mouth, it's for a purpose and a reason. All right, everybody. Look, so what I want y'all to do, I want y'all to, you see, you move differently. You feel, you know. But if you just wasted your whole entire day watching somebody's else, watching somebody else's life progress, so we think. Guess what I'm doing? Simultaneously depleting. That's that. That's how the chart works. When somebody else is rising, somebody else is going below. And we are the ones who are spectating. We are the cheerleaders. Shout out to Eric Thomas. I love what he said. E.T. said, y'all need to start having more coaches around you and not cheerleaders. Mm. Mm. Get off of this and start doing this. Start working on this.